Hello everyone and I welcome you all to another video of our sorting series and in this video we are going to learn about uh, selection sort so in the previous couple of videos we learnt about uh, double sort and we also learnt about insertion sort and both of them have time complexity of O n square right and uh, we also talked about what is in place sorting right and in this video, uh, we are going to talk about what is selection sort. So selection sort is also a in-place sorting. Okay. So selection sort algorithm basically sorts an array by repeatedly finding the minimum elements from the unsorted part and putting it at the beginning. All right. So selection sort basically maintains two. Uh, Varies one which is sorted and one which is unsorted. Okay, so suppose this is my uh, array. Okay, it is x1, comma x2, comma xk, comma xk plus one, comma x. So what will happen that it will iterate over this loop, all right, and it will find the minimum element. Suppose x k is the minimum element, so x k and x one would be replaced. Okay, so the new one would be uh, okay. The new one would be x k would be here, and x uh, one would be here. Right. So now we know that this is the minimum element, so this has to be at the first. Now we'll again find trying to find the minimum element in the rest of the array. Suppose the minimum element now is x1. Okay. So x1 would be here, and x2 would be here. Okay. And so you can see one thing that this part has been sorted and this part has not been sorted so we'll try to find the you know, element in the unsorted part and we'll try to put it at the first place and this now this part will be sorted right this whole part will be sorted there so this is how we'll uh, solve this algorithm and that's the basic idea of this algorithm right. okay now we can do one thing uh, let's take an example case and Let's see if we can solve it using this technique of algorithm. Let's take an array 64, 25, 12, 22, and let's say 11. Okay. So what would happen? We'll iterate over this whole loop, uh, this whole array, right? And we'll find the uh, minimum element here. Which is 11. So we'll swap 11 and 64. Right. Let's swap. So we'll put 11 here and 64 here. Okay. So now we know that this part is sorted and this part is not sorted. So we'll try to find uh, an element, the minimum element in the sorted part. This is what. Well, we'll obviously swap 12 and 25. Let's do that. Have twelve here and twenty-five here, right? So uh, this part has been sorted. This part is not sorted. Now we'll again try to find the minimum element here, which is twenty-five. So we will have twenty-two here and twenty-five here. Okay. Now we know that this part has been sorted, this part has not been sorted. So we will again try to see that the minimum element here is 25, right? So we can see that now the array has been sorted. Okay. Now let's try and code the solution. Right. So 
let's write let me let me do that i must write while selection sort and array comma in n okay let's have few indexes let's have our in min id alright now we'll have a loop for int i is equal to 0 y is uh, 1 and so forth we'll have our minimum index currently at i okay now what we'll do we'll put have j equal to i plus 1 j less than n and j plus <clears throat> this can be a minus one because you know that if we have sorted in minus one numbers, obviously our select number is also at its correct place. Okay. I say if array j, you know, less than array of j, array of uh, minimum index, okay, then we simply swap minimum then we put minimum assignment minimum index as i um as j right okay. and now after this uh, loop what we simply do is we simply swap uh, array of i and array of minimum index as well Is it? So I'll say that it's all as equal to zero and as one and as this first. Simply swap uh, array of i. Okay. Um, call this function sort uh, function as well. Selection sort. Let's have array and then here okay. now let's run it let's see what the function will be okay so you can see it is a sorted array right hmm. now if you talk about the time complexity you can see that there is uh, one loop okay its time complexity will be 0 of n and if you talk about this you know time complexity is going to be zero or n as well. So this is an extended loop, so the resultant time complexity will be um, zero or n square. Right. So we have seen that all the interest sorting, all these three sorting, they have time complexity. They go off n square. Alright. Mm, I hope you understood the selection sort and I hope you also understood uh, the sort and inflection sort as well. And if you have any doubt regarding this video, you may ask it in the comment section. And um, we start another sorting method from the next video onwards. And until then, stay tuned and see you later.